If hate compels the fight, the fight is lost before it is begun. Reverend Renita Lampkin says she's in the middle of one of the biggest fights of a believer's life. When she's not here praying for her congregation, she can often be found here on the streets of Ferguson, marching against police brutality and the killing of Michael Brown and waiting for the grand jury decision. I've heard the predictions, I've been pulled into secret meetings, um, I've received anonymous messages. Um, if all of that prediction holds true, it's going to be very scary. Where will she be? Like Where she always is, standing in between police and protesters when tensions explode. That's her there on August 13th when tear gas flew and military vehicles rolled in. I just was praying, you know, that's it, just interceding, um, you know, asking God to to build a line, to draw a line that couldn't be crossed on either way. She says that night she left with bruises, hit with a police projectile. But she keeps going back and has been criticized for it, accused of inciting protesters. That's her wearing a scarf to cover her face. Really, all I'm doing out there is praying. I'm very aware of the presence of evil and how um, as I'm seeing this as spiritual warfare. She says the war she and others are waging is against the policing system in America. There is a nation of exhausted people and we are exhausted with the policing system having carte blanche opportunity to gun our children down without accountability. Those with opposing um, views would say no there is does. accountability and that's what the grand jury is for. Initially, even some protesters weren't so welcoming to her, saying, This isn't your fight. It's not a white person's fight. It's, you know, not the place. Lampkin now receives death threats for protesting, but she keeps at it. The mother of two mixed race children says she has plenty to fight for. When I see the anger in their faces, the kids' faces, I mean, I, you know, I've seen that anger in my own children's eyes. I've seen that pain. That pain evident on a recent Sunday at her church when one of the fiercest Ferguson protesters visited and ended up breaking down, sobbing in Pastor Lampkin's arms.